looking for a jump starter with uh, air compressor in it you are probably look into one of these big boxes uh, that um, also have the built-in compressor but these type of jump starters have a lead acid battery and the downside of that is not only they're heavy but if you overcharge them the battery gets ruined so instead now with technology of advancing so quickly is uh, jump starters with air compressor and a lithium battery the advantage of a lithium battery is that it lasts a lot longer and it's a lot lighter as well check that out um, right here this has a jump starter has USB ports has a flashlight and we're gonna test this on a Mercedes here we have a Mercedes with a eight-cylinder engine the battery is dead on it and we'll show you in a second but first let's look at this uh, R class really quick so here it is it's a R500 and that's a V8 engine it's a 5.0 liter engine so you can see the battery is dead it can't really turn over the engine look at that listen carefully one more time and that's it so we'll try to see if that uh, jump starter right there is going to be able to start this Mercedes. It's made by Swaoki. And so it comes with a bag. It has uh, the cables for jump starting, a charging cable, and you can charge this through an outlet. You can also charge it through the cigarette port on your car. So once you get your car started, you can charge it. Um, so that's for charging it through the car this is the charger the wall charger and these are the cables for jump starting the car which we'll use to jump start this R class and this is a connect for tires and we'll, we'll test that in a minute uh, really quick as far as specs on this jump starter it's a 700 p current, but what's really important, it's actually the cold cranking amps, uh, which in this case is 350. So, we're gonna go ahead and start this R class, and with these modern cars, you need to look for um, jump starting terminals, in this case it's right here. Uh, otherwise, you don't wanna connect a jump, a jump box uh, directly to the battery. Instead, just use the terminal or under the hood in the engine bay. So let's go ahead and uh, connect this Swaoki jump starter first and see if it's able to start this uh, eight cylinder Mercedes engine. Here we have the negative terminal. And just um, move it a little bit on the terminal so that it makes a good contact. Here is a positive terminal. Really quick here, you can see these four lights. Uh, this is fully charged. Uh, it means each light is about 25%. So you don't want to be anything lower than this uh, orange right here. If it's under 50, you might struggle to start the car. So to start it though, what we'll do is we'll press that button. We'll set that down. And let's see if we'll start this Mercedes. So next we're gonna test this and see if we can inflate a tire though. So here we have this Mercedes again and it has a flat tire. So what we're going to do is we are going to use this uh, portable jump starter and air compressor made by so Swaoki to see if we can uh, inflate this tire. So uh, here's the jump starter and here we'll just pull out this and it does come with the extension um, hose so you can just connect this like that and then just you quickly insert it or if you don't have this hose with you the good thing is and this is a smart way that they designed it is that you can connect this directly to the valve stem 
Look at that. All right, so, and then what we do to inflate it is we press and hold these two buttons. And there, it's inflated. Now on the back here we have a gate. And right now we're at about like five PSI. So we'll see if this can take it up to about 35 PSI. So it's gonna take a few minutes, but let's leave this on.